Jordan's an avid cyclist. He plays soccer and baseball. He's as active as other kids his age, maybe even more so. But he has to take precautions. After all, he has asthma. Sometimes I don't let it affect me because you can't, you can't live your life like that. You gotta do what you wanna do. Jordan may want to lead a normal life, but the fact of the matter is he can't go anywhere without his two inhalers. I have an orange one and I have a blue one. One calms me down right when I'm having an asthma attack. And the other one, it, um, it prevents from having an asthma attack, so it, it controls it a little more. I'm very much aware of Jordan's asthma and the importance of keeping it under control because Jordy also has a life-threatening allergy. And um, if his asthma is not well controlled, then that is very, very dangerous for him. Yes, life or death. For most of us, the nose is the body's first line of defense against air pollution. When we breathe in air pollutants, our body actually has a series of natural mechanisms to protect ourselves. And they include uh, some hairs that will clean out, like little sweepers, uh, mucus that uh, can trap some of these pollutants. And together they try to clean the pollutants out of the body. But really fine particulates, ozone and other contaminants can sneak past the body's defenses and penetrate deep into the lungs. When we breathe in those uh, pollutants, um, two things actually happen. One is that some people who already have breathing problems like asthma or more importantly elderly people that may have reduced lung capacity can have their breathing made uh, much worse. I get wheezy and I do a lot of coughing, stuff like that. Um, it it kind of hurts my throat a little. The second real problem, and one that doesn't get as much attention, is these particulate matter can actually cause a, a reaction in the body that for whatever reason leads to heart problems and may lead either to sudden death or more uh, heart problems themselves. In fact, air pollution accounts for as many heart problems as lung problems. We tend to look to vulnerable populations, older populations, those that have pre-existing heart or lung problems, and also the very young, as the most likely populations that are going to develop problems uh, from air pollution. With babies and toddlers, their lungs aren't fully developed yet. It's felt that if you stunt the development of those lungs, the child will find it harder to breathe normally later in life. Jordan was two when his symptoms materialized. One time we were heading over to Victoria on the ferry and he had a terrible reaction to all the pollution from the cars and uh, we ended up getting a special pass so that we wouldn't have to wait in the lineup on the way back because it, it certainly did affect his breathing. Jordan has determined that his medical condition isn't going to slow him down. He loves mountain biking. There's a race coming up later in the day. And even though it can tire him out, he throws himself into strenuous activity. Uphill, that's, that's one of my favorites. I do get a little wheezy sometimes at the top. Asthmatics aren't the only people affected by bad air. Just because we're no longer sneezing or rubbing our eyes doesn't mean we're immune from its effects. Pollution has a cumulative effect on everybody. Unhealthy people are more likely to feel the consequences of air pollution, but on a really bad day, even a healthy person may find that they're having more trouble breathing. Those individuals out there that exert themselves uh, strenuously, like elite athletes, do report that they're not able to go as fast, as far, can't exert themselves to the same level. So it can affect all of us. Poor air affects not only our health, but our pocketbook too. Poor air can negatively impact tourism and can mean stunted crops and a depressed agricultural economy. Hospital visits as a result of poor air quality cost the provincial health care system $85 million a year. In Washington state, adult and child asthma associated with poor air quality cost the health care system more than $75 million a year. Go! And there's an added cost, the emotional strain on victims and their families. For the most part, I, I don't let it bother me, but occasionally there is fear and worry about how it will affect him. The fact that he has asthma and life-threatening allergy and how those two are not, not good in combination. Let's go, Jordy, go hard. Uh, in adolescence, kids 
They, they just think they're invincible and uh, it's not convenient to carry your EpiPen and your puffers with you and you know it's easy to forget them. So I'm somewhat apprehensive about it but uh, have always really encouraged Jordan to be responsible and to educate others and to enjoy life. Right again, Atta boy, Jordy! Good job! Right again,